Today I'm going to demonstrate how to install a curved shower rod. What's going on and welcome to today's video. My name is Colton and today I'm going to demonstrate how to install a curved shower rod. Once again, I'm at Rome and Sarah's beautiful new house and this curtain behind me is what I'm going to install. The tools I use for this project are a hammer, some bits, my drill, measuring tape, a level, and the hardware that came with the shower rod. And the time that it took me to complete this project was about a half hour. So let's get started. If you already have a shower rod installed, all shower rods usually come in two pieces. So find the mechanism that twists away or towards you to loosen it and then pull it down. You also need to know what you're installing. This shower rod came with two different guides, the permanent installation and a tension installation. We're going permanent. You also need to make sure that you're considering the length of your shower curtain along with the depth of your tub. You don't want to go too high where it looks ridiculous or too low where it drags on the floor. A good height would be anywhere from two to three and a half inches off the ground. Also make sure that if you're doing a liner, that your liner is isn't dragging to the point where you may step on the curtain, but it's still keeping the water out. Once you're at a good height, make a mark of where your shower rod would be. Then with this kit, you take one of the mounting brackets and put it right over where the mark was and put it on the edge of the shower. Now you have the height and the depth of where your shower rod's gonna go. Grab a pen or pencil, mark where the screw holes go, grab your drill and your drill bit, and drill a hole. I would start small in case you hit a stud, and then go bigger if you need to use a screw anchor. Then I would measure the depth and the height of where your screw hole starts, and make sure to do that to the other side. Drill your holes and tap in any anchors if you need to. Now take your shower rod mount, line up the holes, grab the screws, and fasten the bracket down. And just go until it's snug because you don't want to over tighten the anchors and loosen those up. You'll see that this mount is labeled A and is on the left side of the shower. Also note that the shower rod has a flat part and that flat part goes down. Also know that the shower rod mount space isn't exactly the same on both mounts. Mount B has a wider clearance for the shower rod and mount A has a more narrow clearance. This is important because you're installing a curved shower rod that has a flat part that goes down. So really there's only one way the shower rod can curve out and the mounts have to be on the correct sides. And I learned this the hard way because earlier I put mount A on the left side of the shower, which in turn I put mount B on the right side of the shower. But once I realized that there's a space difference for the clearance of the shower rod and the flat part of the shower rod has to go down, I had to unscrew each mount and switch so mount B was on the left side and mount A was on the right side. Now with mount B on the left side, I grabbed the shower rod with a thicker end, grab your screws, and this is like a sex bolt or furniture joint connector bolt. Put one end in and then the screw goes on the top and then you tighten it down. Now you have half of a shower rod that swivels back and forth. This is what you want. Grab a mount cover, slide it over the rod, get it close to the mount, align where the cover snaps over the mount and snap it in. Grab the other half of the rod, take this plastic piece and put it in the rod making sure the flat parts are down and they align. Then slide this half of the rod over the other rod. Again making sure the flat parts down. Grab your other mount cover, slide it on the rod, and then take this end of the shower rod and put it into the mount and tighten it down with the screws like you did before. After the screws are tightened, snap on the mount cover. Now on the left side of the shower rod you're going to see this little part here that actually spins. If you spin it away from you it'll actually tighten the tension in the rod which is what you want. Then there's going to be a little screw at the bottom. Put that in, grab your allen wrench, tighten it down, double check that your shower rods level, remove any stickers, and if you have any sticker residue, use Goo Gone or WD-40. And now you're done. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you like what you just watched, give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. If you want to see other videos just like this, go ahead and click this link right up here. And also be sure to check out Rome and Sarah's Instagram pages that you can find down below in the description. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.